Well, the USF women's basketball team, they almost upset number four Baylor tonight, but the Bears ended up winning 67 to 62. And still the Bulls were happy to get another game on the schedule, even if there weren't any fans in the audience. Our Kevin Lewis joins us from the Yingling Center tonight. The Bulls almost pulled it off. Now in a normal year, it would have been in front of a few thousand fans and in a televised game. But this isn't a normal year. And this game is going to be just like all the other non-conference games here, a little empty. You got to create your own energy. I mean, right now it was it was it was an empty arena, and two teams went went against one another, and the team the team that made more shots and uh, made less mistakes won. Our bench was insane today. They were giving us a lot of energy every time we just uh, a defensive stop or a rebound or any little thing. We just heard our entire bench, so it kind of filled up the whole stadium for us. With college games getting canceled or moved on a nightly basis, tonight was a win because they could actually play. Yeah, usually we have 14, you know, 14 non-conference games, and we usually play two tournaments, uh, five games. Um, this wasn't the case this year. We got two more available games. Hopefully that comes to fruition. USF discussed having limited capacity later on this month, but they'll have to listen to public health officials and follow COVID safety protocols. It doesn't get any easier for the Bulls. They host number six Mississippi State on Saturday. At the Yingling Center, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.